us being able to participate by providing our learning materials, allowing them to be, to be used by many people, allowing them to be transformed by anyone, I think just gives um, all of our users and potential users more access and better access to, um, to our products and learning how to use our products and applying them. So I think our responsibility is creating a, a system, platform, and environment for our users to actually help each other because I think that's where the value of community comes in. Not only has technology you know, sort of blown up the world of what these kind of artists do into a million possibilities, but that it also is very focused because of things like Creative Commons on, uh, on collaboration and sharing as part of that. We're partnering with them. We're not, we're not doling it out like it's some treasure. You know, it's actually just we want them to be as successful as possible. We're going to let them do it. Then you actually start to see people sharing uh, the kind of information they're sharing. It's not, it's different from just social networking. It's sharing tips and tricks about how to be a better architect or how to be a better uh, designer or how to be a better uh, mechanical engineer. It's important to be able to create a way where that information is able to be exchanged between the people who do need to know how to get some of those jobs done and the people who have some special knowledge that they're willing to share or able to share. You know, the, the power of the community to take that and apply it in all the ways um, that it can be, it can be used is, it, it is so much more genuine, it's so much more um, culturally appropriate, it's language sent, I mean there's just so many things that make it a better product than we could ever make. We, we want to foster that because the quality of that material when it does come from the community is so much greater than we could ever hope to achieve.